Okay, welcome back. So I managed to finish this coin purse. As you can see, it's all Mio size 13 Charlie Cuts. No 15s in this. I mean, it's all like assembled by me, it's like as usual. The lining's on by me, the zipper's put on by me, the edging's on by me, the whole beadwork and assembly is done by me. But this is a regular size coin purse, it's 4 by 3 inches tall. I think this has about 14 colors in it. Maybe 12. I'm not sure. I haven't counted it. But yeah, it took me 10 days to make this from start to finish. Beadwork and everything. You see the background. I'm working on something again. So this is the newest coin purse I'm working on. And this one's pretty sparkly. And this one does have 13 to 15. I think I'm up to like 18, 19 colors on this. So it is orange. I don't really normally work with orange, but I really do like it, especially the pattern on the edge. Something about it. Using some odd colors like olive green in there. Especially this uh, blue iris, which kind of looks like an oil slick. I mean, it's really a nice color. Especially when the light hits it. And it and it dances off those little Charlotte cuts. So it's all 13s and 15s. And yes, this has two sided tulips. Hot pinks and all these other colors in it. But this one is smaller than this coin purse, as you can see. So this is the mini version. The smallest version I make, which is big enough to fit cards inside it and some stuff. This one's obviously way bigger. So you can see. Even it being taco, it's tiny by half an inch, even half an inch smaller, half inch by half inch. So this is small, I guess, template design. I do have everything on my Etsy, the template layout, everything I have for these two. Actually, you'll have like three of them. But just kind of a little update. I'll probably have this one done today, maybe. Well, the beading wise, and then I'll do the edging on this. And have that assembled. So hopefully I can have another video up in a couple of days. Showing the result process of this. And so 10 days. I'm actually up to like 6 on this I think. And yeah I started another one. This one is gray. Transparent and gray. No we're on black. So it's a bit darker than <laughs> these two. So this one has a a a a. What do you call it? Montana blue, so you can see there. At this end, it looks black, but you get close to it and you can see how blue pop up on it. Especially like these little dots, or little spots of colors that transitions. I, mean, I don't know how I do it, but I just do it. It's just bottom looks, I don't know, like a peony stitch or I guess on the bottom of a cord. I don't know. These little details I like. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and hope you guys catch you guys on the next one. So thank you and bye.